the theme for this week, but it's also from the book of Acts, which I would really challenge you. If you've never read the book of Acts, it is so exciting. And it's full of the same kind of things that this theme is about this week. But it's just all about what happened after Jesus died, was buried, rose from the dead, and then ascended. It's all the things that happened to those followers of Jesus. And they did some radical, amazing things. And one of the things that happens is pretty quickly um, persecution breaks out. And Paul, later Paul, Saul, starts to persecute the um, early church in Jerusalem. And so things get so bad, Stephen is killed as a martyr, and then everybody, a lot of them ran away. And so Philip is one that runs away, but we're going to read Acts 8, 4 and 5, and it's funny. So if they had stayed close to Jerusalem, then they could have been arrested for their faith. So let's find out what they did after they left. Acts 8, 4 through 5. But the believers who scattered preached the good news about Jesus wherever they went. <laughs> Philip, for example, went to the city of Samaria and told the people there about the Messiah. Okay, so if you knew, um, let's say that certain things could make your hands blue. And if, if you um, like picked blueberries or you whatever, went into Smurf land and your hands turned blue, then you could be arrested. And so if you left town and you were trying to kind of keep, keep it on the lowdown, and then you went and did the same thing and you ended up with blue hands, then you could still be arrested. Well, these people knew that if they preached about Jesus, they could still be arrested, but they couldn't stop. They couldn't keep themselves. They wouldn't even try to keep themselves from sharing this good news because this good news isn't just for this life. I mean, Jesus wants us to have abundant life here, but he wants us to have eternal life forever. So don't keep it to yourself. Go ahead, get blue hands. I mean, go ahead and, and take the risk of being known as a Christian, as a believer. And if you don't have something to say about God and what he's doing in your life, I really challenge you, get into his word. Start reading the Bible. Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal things to you. Um, he revealed some major things to me this week that are really hard. They're hard to look at. Um, read Psalm 51. Find out how the Holy Spirit works in our hearts to, to clean us up, to, to transform us, to renew us. And so take some time today and get in God's Word. And if you do have a testimony for Christ, please share it.